If you're looking for highly customizable Warlock Week Ores for Wrath of the Lich King Classic, well, you're watching the right video. I'll be showing you how to install and properly customize them to your liking. We have a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. Alright, so let's begin with the installation. Before we do anything, I recommend that you delete the previous version of the Week Ores that you were using. This will ensure that we get a clean new install which will limit the risk of possible issues. You'll only have to do this process once, since in the future, you'll simply have to update them as needed. Let's head over to Luxthose.com in order to copy the import code. The link is provided in the description down below. Simply scroll down on the page, click the button to copy the code, and head back to World of Warcraft. Once you're in-game, make sure to open up the Week Ores panel by typing slash WA in the chat window. Click Import, paste the code, and you're done. One thing to keep in mind is that the name of the actual groups are very important. You need to make sure you do not rename any of them. Also, make sure you do not have any duplicates. If you have multiple copies of the same Wii cores, the added number to the group name will cause you some issues. The last thing on our list before we move on to the customization is to make sure we activate the action bar cooldown number in the interface options. Without this, if you're using the default UI, you simply won't see any number on your auras. If you want to change the look and behavior of those numbers, you can use an add-on like OmniCC or something more complex like LVUI. It is important to notice that both these add-ons will replace the default number. So make sure you don't have both options active at the same time, or you'll be seeing some overlaps. Alright, we're going to move on with the customization, and we're going to start things off with placement and sizing. Because I'm using a 1440p resolution and a 100% UI render scale, you might be seeing something different on your end. The weak ores might be bigger or smaller, and I'm going to show you how to change that. First off, open the Weak Aura panel slash WA, and we're going to click over here on the Luxthos Warlock group. You're going to click on the group tab over here, and down here we're going to have access to our options. So firstly, you're going to be able to change the group scale to size them down or up to your liking here. You're going to be able to also move them left or right if you don't want them to be centered. And finally, you're going to be able to change the Y offset if you want to move them down or up. That's going to be a possibility. So depending on what your UI looks like, your resolution and your render scale, you're going to be able to customize the size and the placement to your liking. All right, so we're now going to move on to the utility of every groups and how to organize the information within them. So this is going to be quite interesting because things have changed a lot over the past couple of years throughout Burning Crusade, Shadowland, and Battle for Azeroth. So I just want to showcase all of the groups. What do they do? What are inside here? And what, what, what's in there? And, and how to customize it? How to, how, to, how to get it to look exactly how you want, right? In terms of ordering and all of that good stuff. So things have changed quite a lot. Um, back in Burning Crusade, Battle for Azeroth, and Shadowland, uh, things were quite static. So you couldn't really move uh, the location easily of most of the spell. Everything had a static position, and everything needed to be rebalanced and reconfigured and rethought in order to have everything line up. If you wanted to change, for example, the order of the spells to line up better with your action bar, uh, with your keybinds. But that's a thing of the past. We now have a new design that is a lot more free-flowing and that is going to be uh, super, easy, uh, super easy to customize, right? So as you can see here with the core group, which is going to be the main uh, core section uh, for Warlock here, you're going to see that all of your ability are right here. So all of your rotational ability, your cooldowns, your pet abilities, defensive, all of that stuff is all in the same group. And simply what's going on here is it takes the first eight icon, the first eight aura loaded for your spec and shows them here. You're going to be able to show how many of them show if you want less than eight or more than eight. That's going to be something you'll be able to customize. But everything else after the overflow is automatically resized and shuffled uh, down. Not shuffle, but re just repositioned down at the bottom down here. So you have com complete control over all of this. 
So let's say that you don't want Unstable Affliction to show up first because that's not your keybind. Uh, you want it to show after Agony and Corruption here. So simply move it down here, close the weak aura, and there we go. Unstable Affliction is now over here, more towards the middle, uh, instead of being on the side, right? So you can easily move those things. You can even move them up and down. So you simply have to move the ability down in the list until it goes past 8, and then it will automatically go to the bottom and something else will, will take its place, right? So it's all free-flowing, all automated. Uh, you have complete control over everything that's going on here. So that's going to be quite interesting. You're going to have full control over that. The core group is the primary group. It is the, it is the, the center and the anchor of everything else around it. We're going to move on to the dynamic section here. So we have the dynamic effects and dynamic spells. Those are sitting at the top here. They're resting on top of this. And uh, you're simply going to have the effects on the left side that are going to grow inwards towards the right. And the opposite side here, you're going to see some spells. It's pretty much going to be the opposite. They're going to be growing in the uh, other direction, but you'll be able to customize all of that. Dynamic effects is pretty straightforward. So it's going to be all of your buff, your debuff, your talent procs, and all of that good information is going to be sitting here. Even your tier set bonuses are going to be showing up here. So those are all pre-programmed. You're good to go for the entirety of Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Everything is in here. If everything is a little bit too crowded, there's maybe a little bit too much information or things that you don't necessarily need to watch at all time, you can simply click on them, load, and say never. This will make sure that you don't get too many things showing up at all time. By default, I usually load everything uh, to give you access to a little bit more customization and give you a little bit more options. For, dynam for dynamic spells here for Warlock, uh, it's going to be quite straightforward. It's pretty much uh, the four ability that you get from going into your Metamorphosis form. So these ability are going to show up here uh, as soon as you enter Metamorphosis and you're going to be able to track them. They're just going to show up here. It's a nice little area for them to show up. So you'll have them in this little area. Nothing more to it. You can change the order, by the way, of all of the icons in here if you want things to show before in a different order or whatever uh, you're, you're trying to do. Very easy to do that in here. Moving forward to the left and right side groups. So these two groups right now by default are completely empty. They have no purpose at the moment because they have nothing in them, but they can have a purpose if you want them to. So in the past, in Battle for Azeroth and Shadowland, uh, mainly, you could have um, icons on the side here. That was part of the default original design from re those retail expansion. I would put your uh, offensive cooldown ability on this side and your interrupts and, defense, uh, and interrupts and stuns on the other side here, on the right side. If that's something that you want to do for any purposes, if you want maybe your dot to show up here or maybe you want to show Death Coil and Interrupt on this side, you can do that really, really easily. If maybe that helps you read the information better and have a better understanding of uh, how the information is displayed by having it separated, well, you can easily do that. So we're going to take, for example, Death Coil and Owl of Terror here, and we're going to move them into the right group. There we go. So now they're sitting here. We're going to close this, and we're going to hit it with a quick reload. There you go. So now Death Coil and Howl of Terror are sitting in their proper position here. So this is looking quite nice. There we go. So now we're going to do this. And we're going to revert it all back to what it was. So it is It is quite simple. You have complete control over here. It automatically gets resized. Everything is taken care of. So this is quite nice. So if you want to put anything in here, you're free to do so. If it helps you out, uh, feel free to customize it to your liking. We already talked about the core group, so we're going to move past this one and go down to the maintenance area here. So the maintenance group is simply this little bar at the bottom that will contain your maintenance buff and pretty much anything you need to keep track of for Warlock. That's going to be Soul Link, Fell Armor, and your Spellstone or Firestone are going to show up in here. So these are going to show up if they are present or missing, depending on what you configure them to do. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that into the custom options section of the video. But this is going to be pretty straightforward. These are just going to be sitting here. They didn't really fit into the core uh, section of the weak core. So putting them a little bit on the side allows you to, to get some pretty nice configuration here. Again, you can change the order of these and all of that good stuff. So you can, uh, you can do whatever you want with this. We're now going to move on to the last groove, the last section here. The resources, which is quite nice and important. Uh, so in here, you're going to get all of your bars that are going to fit in the middle of the core here. So there's a gap here. You're going to be able to change this positioning. 
but right now they're sitting here by default. So you're going to get a health bar, a mana bar, and your pet health bar. So the health bar here is something new. We've never had this in the previous week cores. Uh, by default, it is set to never load. But if you want to get it, simply click on the health bar, go to the load tab, click uncheck the never here, close the week cores, and give it a quick reload. This is, going to, this is going to ensure that everything is loaded and resized uh, properly. So as you can see, you now have access to your health bar, your meta bar, and the pet health bar here at the bottom. So we're going to reset this back to its previous state by default here. There we go. Meta bar, quite straightforward. Just a little meta bar that you can fully customize. And the pet health bar uh, shares, it's pretty much the same health bar as Hunter, if you've ever seen that one. Little health bar, it's kind of grayed out when the pet is doing great so that, so that it doesn't create any sort of visual noise. But as soon as your pet starts taking damage, it's going to color up, change color. You can fully customize that as well. It's pretty awesome. So that's going to give you all of that good stuff. So now that we went over all of the groups, you understand a little bit better what they do. And you're going to be able to move on to the next section, which is going to be the custom options. All right, so we're now going to go ahead and go over the custom options for the Warlock Week Ores. So this is going to be a big segment, but it should be pretty fun. I'm going to show you how to fully customize a brand new design for the Week Ores. Uh, so I'm just going to showcase every single one of those options here. So you can click on the Warlock group right here, go into the custom option tab, and you'll see all the options that you can play with. I'll go over uh, through every single one of them, and I'm going to build a new design with you for fun. Just a, suggest uh, just a suggestion idea. You don't have to do the same thing that I'm doing here. It's just for fun and uh, explaining purposes. So before we go on, I want to show you where these are coming from. So these are from different layers. Uh, we have the general options, which uh, include all the general styling. This can be shared to other class because it's general. It's not something that's specific to the Warlock. The class option are going to be more specific to the Warlock. You're going to have the health, the mana, and the pet bar health here. So these are going to be more global to your class. And then you're also going to have some custom option on the maintenance here. So this is going to be the behavior of your maintenance ability. There we go. And then since uh, it's, it's a little bit all spread out, right? So the easy way to do this is to simply cl uh, click on the overall group. So click on Luxtos Warlock. It's going to be way easier for you to do this. And then you click custom option. I just wanted to show you where they all came from so you understand. But pretty much uh, by clicking here on the main group, you get to see the preview and you get to have access to all of them. So let's get started. We're going to create a new design for fun and we're going to go through all of the abilities. Or I should say, all of the uh, all of the styling here for all of the abilities. So we're going to start off with the global style here. You can apply, first of all, a border to all of the icons and the bar. So this looks pretty nice, right? We're going to leave it at two for now. It looks pretty cool. So it gives it like a nice, clean, minimalistic look. The border can be changed in color if you want something different. We're going to leave it at black for now. You can decide to not apply the border to your resources if that's something you want to do. We're going to leave it active. And you can change the icon zoom in here. So this feature allows you to go back to the original World of Warcraft icon, right? With like the the 3D border here, the little the little edge. If we zoom in, we can actually remove this right here. We're gonna go back to number two right here for the border to bring it back up. Now on to the main icon. So this is gonna be this middle section in here. You're going to be able to change the width of those middle icons. See that only the main ones are actually being affected, nothing else here. This allows you to do some pretty cool designs if you want to. We're going to leave the width by default, but we're going to modify the height ever so slightly just to create this nice, cool little rectangle look here. I kind of like that. We're going to lower the spacing to one. If you want, you can see that the spacing affects the main icon and the resources bar. We're going to move that to one to create a more close, tight look. And then my favorite feature, the number of icons. So this is going to allow you to go all the way to 10 or all the way down to 4 if you want to. So you can have like a smaller little weak aura segment like this. So this looks pretty cool, right? Uh, but we're going to leave it at 8 because I think the number 8 here is uh, pretty much what I've designed the weak auras with, right? So this is what I had in mind when I created these. So you need to make sure that you know this, right? Because... If you lower it down below 8, there might be some overlap and some little, like, you know, icons that go, like, 
to the bottom here. This thing can happen. It's not the end of the world, but uh, you can customize the design, right? For example, if you don't need shard, you could move it and it would look pretty good, right? So just feel free to play around with this, customize it to your liking. We're gonna, we're gonna leave it at eight, which is the original design intention here. And we're gonna move on to the secondary icons. There we go. Uh, so the width, we're not gonna touch it, but we're gonna modify ever so slightly the height here to give it that nice little square uh, rectangle look that we're looking for to keep uh, the design going. We're gonna reduce the spacing down to one. The Dynamics icon are sitting up top here, on top of the core group, right? So they're sitting all the way up here. Uh, same options here. We're not going to touch the width. We're going to reduce a little bit the height right there. Why not? And um, we're going to reduce the spacing here to one, right? The bottom margin is going to be for some breathing room here if you want to move them away from the core weak ores. So that's going to be available to you. We're going to leave a little bit. It's always good. And then we can swap the uh, spell and effect here. So if you want your spells to be on this side instead of being on the right, you can swap them. The effects flip as well. And then you can decide to align them from center. So instead of uh, starting from the edge and growing inward, you can actually start them from the middle and grow outward. So that's a possibility right here. As well as swapping. The side icons, we're not going to modify anything here because we're not using the left and right side group. They're empty at the moment. Uh, but if you decide to drag any of your spell in here, make sure you remind yourself to come and style this with your new design. The maintenance icon, we're going to apply the same icon and spacing uh, that we've applied to the other layers. So as you can see, this is the bar at the bottom here. You can do some cool stuff. Like, look at this. Oh, actually, we're not going to see out of combat, but you can do some cool designs if you want here, uh, which is pretty nice. But we're going to go we're going to go uh, and, and go with the original design idea we had with the little rectangle look. There we go. Uh, the margin for the spacing here. If you want some more breathing room, we're going to reduce the spacing to one. And then you can change the behavior of those maintenance spells. So this is pretty cool. Uh, for example, we have Spellstone and Firestone, Fella Armor and Soul Link. Right now, they're all showing if missing, but if you want to, you can change it to show if applied or always show. So this is pretty cool. Uh, if you always forget uh, your, your buff, you want to make sure maybe you change it to always show. That's going to behave differently a little bit. Uh, in a rested area, nothing is going to show. But as soon as you enter combat here, uh, everything will show. That's because we're in a rested area. It behaves a little bit differently. But as soon as I apply my buff, you can see things are going away, right? There we go. All right, so uh, we're going to leave this like this for now, and we're going to move on to the resources. So the resources here is pretty cool. So you can change the position of this group to be in a different area. So right now it's sitting under the primary uh, bar of icon, but you can make it go above. So by having it go above, you get a completely different look for the weak ores here, completely different than what you had previously, right? We're going to move it back here. You can change the height of the bar. So if you want, you can have this be, uh, you can change the height of these. These are categories of height. So you got the height one, which is health and mana. Height two is going to be combo points and runes, which we don't have on Warlock. And height three is going to be the health bar for the pet in this case. So because we're adding a border to the bar, let me put this to 10 just so we can see it. Otherwise, it's not really visible, right? So let's do 10 over here for the pet health bar. This should look nice. Out of combat alpha is pretty nice. So uh, out of combat here, you can see that the weak ores are fully loaded. But if we want, we can fade their opacity here. So by lowering this, we get this cool little uh, lower opacity design of out of combat. And as soon as we go in combat, it will go back to full opacity. Or we can also ignore target. So this behavior is ignored as soon as you target something, which is kind of nice. But you can uncheck that if you want to, which is kind of cool. Gives you full and complete freedom. Health bar for the Warlock here, uh, you can change the height group. So if you want your health bar to have a different height than your meta bar, simply change it. It can have the same height as your pelt bar if you want. You could go for the combo one, which isn't being used. Feel free to change this. That's pretty cool. You can get to do some cool design with that. The text formatting, you're going to get the full value, the uh, formatted value, the full value per plus percent, the formatted plus percent and percentage. You can also change the gradient over here, so you can pick any color you want. Let's say you wanted to go like for, I don't know, maybe like a cool purple gradient for your Warlock, you can do that. You can also remove the gradient if you just want to use the main color here. 
Let's say you want to use uh, one of these colors. You can do that. There we go. The meta bar is also going to have the same uh, options. So you're going to get the height, the text format, the gradient, and the gradient tool. And then the Pethel bar is going to be pretty similar. So you're going to get the resource height, and then you're going to get all the different state. So if your Peth is healthy, it's going to be like a desaturated color here. If your Peth is, um, has um, over 60% health, you're going to get a nice green, orange, and then red, depending on the uh, status of your Peth. So all of these options are going to allow you to get this brand new look, for example. You can do whatever you want. This is only a suggestion. I'm only showing you a possibility. Uh, feel free to play with this and make your own design. Get something looking cool exactly like you want to. The cool thing about this, though, is that you can share this. So if I do right-click on the general option here, copy settings, and then I go into custom configuration, I can paste this to my other classes. So we could go on my Druid paste the custom configuration, and Druid would have a brand new design as well. You can also share this design with your friend by exporting the general option layer here, or you could import a brand new design here. So we're going to import the one we just created, and we're going to reset this one to default, right? So there we go. We're going to be back to default here. We have the brand new week cores that we just loaded. And then uh, we're going to load a brand new design that we found somewhere or that our friend uh, shared with us. We're going to right click this, copy setting, and you're going to see that the option doesn't show up. This is a little issue that happens sometimes. You just got to do slash reload. Go back in, right click, copy, custom configuration. And then you're going to go ahead and paste the custom configuration onto the layer. Close this out, and there you go. We have the design that we just created, or in this case, uh, got from somebody else, right, in this scenario. So that's pretty cool. Now you can delete this and you're good to go. You can just go in combat, apply your dots and all that cool stuff. And you'll be you'll be ready. You'll be ready to tackle the world. So, uh, whoops, a little misclick. So now that we got this, we're just simply going to reset this. There we go. Reset to default. We're going to be back. If, say, that the import didn't... Uh, was not exactly what we were looking for. You're never stuck with it. You can always reset back to the default and go back to this more uh, original default looks for the weak ores. All right, last thing that I want to check out here uh, for you guys is going to be on how to change the font. So there's three font that you can change here. Uh, the first one is going to be in the middle of the icon here. As you can see, this number right here is actually the same one as in the action bar. If you enable or disable this option here, you'll actually see the number go away as well as the one in the action bar, right? So because of that, it means that we can't really change it. With the way that I have the weak ores set up right now, you can't change it through the weak ores. But you can load an add-on like OmniCC or something a little bit more complex like LVUI, like I've explained in the installation part of the video, where those uh, add-ons will actually allow you to change the look and behavior of this cooldown number. You're going to be able to change the font and also the color. The other uh, numbers you're going to want to change are going to be the little ones here that you see, the little stack number over some of these. So these can be found pretty much anywhere, but you want to click, for example, a group. You want to go in Display, scroll down, and find the text layer here. And you'll see Shadow Embrace, for example, Molten Core, and Backdraft, right? So you're going to see it by mouse overing here. What I recommend that you do is that you go in, in individually here and that you actually modify uh, the font for the text, right? So for all of these, that needs to have it. So if we go back here, we're going to get uh, Backdraft, Molten Core, and Shadow Embrace. So if we go into one of those, Molten Core, you're going to see the text right here. You can change the font, you can change the size here, or even the color. The last part that you're going to need to modify is going to be in the resources here on Health Bar and Meta Bar. Uh, in the Display section, you scroll down, you're going to find the font just right here underneath Text 1. Same thing for the Health Bar right here. So once you're done with that, all your fonts and everything should line up with your new design, and hopefully you'll have something cool. All right, well, that's it for this video. I cannot believe you made it all the way to the end. If you would like to support in any way, shape, or form, make sure to like this video. I know everybody says this, but it's true. Like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to on YouTube, and come see me on Twitch. I stream every single day on Twitch. I play World of Warcraft. I play variety games. We make weak wars. We have a good time. Join us. Come throw me a follow. Just say hi. I'll be really happy. But in the meantime,
I'll see you all in World of Warcraft.